In the sequel to the highly acclaimed novel The Sparrow, Mary Doria Russell continues the captivating story in her science fiction masterpiece Children of God, 1998. The book follows Father Emilio Sandoz, a Jesuit priest who has endured immense physical and spiritual trauma from his encounter with a hostile alien civilization on the planet Rocket. Despite the relatively short duration of the expedition, which began in 2019, Emilio returns to Earth in 2060 due to the effects of time dilation. His faith in shambles, Emilio struggles to find his place in the world. During a christening ceremony, Emilio meets Gina, a divorced woman, and her young daughter Celestina. Emilio falls deeply in love with Gina and decides to leave the priesthood to marry her. While he is granted release from his religious vows, the Vatican requests Emilio's participation in a second Jesuit mission to Rocket. The purpose of this expedition is to establish communication once again with the peaceful Runa and the hostile Janata alien civilizations. Although hesitant, Emilio agrees to teach the new delegation the languages of the Runa and Janata, namely Ruanja and Ksan. On the eve of the journey to Rocket, Gina's ex-husband, Carlo, violently assaults and kidnaps Emilio. When Emilio regains consciousness, he finds himself aboard Carlo's ship, the Giordano Bruno, en route to Rocket alongside the Jesuits. The Jesuit Order and the Vatican are determined to have Emilio return to rectify the chaos that unfolded as a consequence of his initial expedition. In the intervening years, the Runa have revolted against their oppressive oppressors, the Janaata, resulting in widespread violence and significant losses on both sides of the conflict. As the story unfolds, Emilio grapples with his tumultuous past and his newfound responsibilities in shaping the destiny of Rocket. He must confront his personal demons while navigating the intricate dynamics between the Runa and the Janaata. Emilio's journey is one of redemption, forgiveness, and the search for humanity's place in the vastness of the cosmos. Children of God explores profound themes of faith, love, and the consequences of our actions delivering a thought-provoking and emotionally resonant narrative. As the ship traverses the vast expanse of the galaxy, the narrative shifts its focus to Rocket, unveiling the events that transpired over the past 40 years. Despite being presumed dead, Sofia Mendez Quinn, Emilio's former colleague and a talented Turkish Jewish AI specialist, miraculously survived the ordeals of the previous novel. From her clandestine village, Sophia assumes command of the Runa, leading their revolution against the oppressive Janata. Alongside her, Sophia raises her autistic child named Isaac, conceived prior to the departure of the initial expedition. In the heart of the Janata capital, the previous antagonist, Supari, prepares for his marriage to Jala, the sister of Prince Hlavin Kithari. In The Sparrow, Hlavin agreed to exchange Jala for Emilio, becoming Hlavin's sexual captive. Unaware of her impending marriage, Jala endures a harrowing ordeal as Supari brutally assaults her in front of a crowd as part of their wedding ceremony. Later, Jala gives birth to a daughter who, according to a doctor, is deemed deformed and sentenced to death. Suspecting a conspiracy orchestrated by Hlavin to eliminate his potential heirs, Supari rescues the baby, naming her Hanala, and withdraws from Janata society. Finding refuge among the Runa, Supari becomes a spy for Sophia. Over the years, Hanala and Isaac form a deep bond and eventually escape together to seek shelter among a group of Janata residing in the mountains of Njar Valley. The war between the Runa and the Janata rages on, persisting for several decades. It culminates in a fierce and brutal hand-to-hand -hand confrontation between Supari and Hlavin, resulting in the demise of both aliens. Shortly thereafter, the Janata capital falls under the control of the Runa, with the runa no longer serving as a docile and easily preyed upon food source, many Janata succumb to starvation. Those who manage to survive face capture or death at the hands of the runa, completely reversing the old order in which the Janata terrorized their subjugated counterparts. The landscape of Rocket undergoes a profound transformation as the tables turn, marking a monumental shift in power dynamics. The war-torn world grapples with the consequences of their long-standing conflicts and the survivors are left to grapple with the complexities of their new reality. The intertwined fates of Hanala, Isaac, Sophia, and the remnants of both the Runa and Janata serve as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the potential for reconciliation amidst the ruins of a broken society. When Emilio, accompanied by Carlo and the new Jesuit delegation, finally arrives on Rocket, he is met with a shocking revelation. 
The Runa have nearly exterminated the entire Janata population, sparing only those residing in the Njar Valley with Han Ala and Isaac. Contrary to the delegation's expectations, they find themselves in a situation where they must protect the remaining Janata rather than intervene on behalf of the Runa. As tensions escalate, the Runa troops, led by Sophia, stumble upon the Njar Valley, ready to rescue Isaac and annihilate the surviving Janata. However, they learn that Isaac has chosen to stay voluntarily. Now 40 years old, Isaac has devoted his life to proving the existence of God through the creation of music using the intertwined genomes of Runa, Janata, and human DNA. Meanwhile, Danny Iron Horse initiates a system reminiscent of Native American reservations to provide shelter for the few remaining Janata on the planet. As time passes, Sophia passes away from old age, leaving a void in the hearts of those who fought alongside her. In the end, Emilio, Carlo, and the other priests embark on their return journey to Earth, carrying with them a Janata child. However, due to time dilation, many decades have elapsed since they departed Earth. Gina, Emilio's beloved, has long since passed away. At her gravesite, Emilio encounters her second daughter, conceived before he left Earth. According to Library Journal, Children of God delves into the intricate examination of faith in the face of adversity, offering profound insights and clarity on the matter. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.